This is Shai Reyes at CVI 2019 Denver, Colorado. With me is Dwight Tapaza. He is a Chip and Complex Peripheral Interventional Fellow at Albert Einstein Philadelphia. Welcome, Dwight. Thank you. I know you have two, you are a semi-finalist for peripheral as well as coronary uh, challenging cases. Right. You, we talked about before we start recording about the coronary. Can you tell the audience briefly about the case? Sure. Um, so the case I'm presenting today is, uh, is a complex case that we encountered where a, uh, a referring physician sent us a patient with a, a tumor in, in encasing the uh, uh, alema graft um, where the patient had received a, an old cipher stent uh, that was completely occluded. Subsequently, he received uh, alema graft to his LAD and, uh, and um, he presented with chest pain and some cough and part of the workup was an echo, which, which showed normal LV function, and a, and a CT that showed a tumor invading that lima, uh, which to the eyes of the surgeons at that institution thought to be uh, potentially malignant, and they wanted that to be taken out. So they had sent the patient to us asking us to, um, to uh, try to open the LAD CTO um, and, uh, and, and coil the lima so we can, so they can take it out. Due to the surgical risk for cutting off the lima completely? Correct. All right. So, uh, yeah, so tell us about the access, the guide, your approach, and then how did you coil? Sure. Um, so we went through the left radial and the right femoral artery. Um, we elected to get a guide into the lima and, uh, and uh, an eight French guide through the leg. Um, and, um, and we took dual imaging to really try to define the, 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 the chronic occlusion area, which was a long segment of very heavy, heavily calcified lesion. Um, and um, and we, our primary approach, uh, starting the case or planning the case, was to do any grade wire escalation, plus minus reentry. Um, and uh, our secondary approach would be to go retrograde through the limb. <laughs> Um, and we, we initially started with the uh, uh, integrate approach as planned. However, despite multiple attempts and using um, um, penetrating wires, several of them, we were unable to penetrate the proximal cap due to, in part, the thick struts of the old cipher stent and in part to um, the, uh, the heavy calcium in there. Um, and so after several attempts through integrate approach, we. Um, uh, quickly uh, moved to the retrograde approach, wired the lima, we're able to get... Um, through the femoral or through the left radial guide? Through the left radial guide. So we have a left IMA sitting in the lima? Correct. All right. Um, and uh, we got a turnpike LP down with a workhorse wire into the uh, distal occlusion cap. Um, and we're able to do uh, wire escalation again and advance the um, turnpike LP uh, significantly into the, into the occlusion cap. Um, into the proximal, sorry, the distal occlusion cap um, and the mid occlusion. However, every time we tried to go further into the proximal cap, um, and due to heavy calcium again, um, our equipment would back back up, uh, and our base of operation. And there's no um, support as well lost. with that Correct. probably angle. Yeah, it's very difficult to to obtain enough support that right. way. Um, and so, uh, ultimately, we went back to the integrate approach. Um, and we, uh, we tried to get into a different plane, so we moved our base of operations more proximally. And we, uh, we managed to um, um, use Miracle Brothers 6 and eight and 12 sorry, um, to catch tissue and, and change the angle of the microcatheter, and then used high penetrating uh, uh, wires, um, uh, such as Hornet 14 and an Astato 20, to, uh, to advance uh, through the proximal cap successfully and then uh, re-entered using a pilot 200 and this LED. We're able to get that microcatheter down, switch to a wiggle wire, and then started uh, uh, our lesion preparation. Yeah, did you laser to consensus the ISR or did you attract it? Correct, so we started with a 2 NC balloon um, uh, to, to create a channel um, and then we used a 0.9 uh, uh, millimeter a laser catheter at 80-80 several runs um, and that allowed us to pass our IVIS catheter so we imaged the whole thing um, and, and that told us that there is uh, obviously heavy calcium it told us that the wire position was um, uh, sub intimal in the proximal cap and the re-entry was in the, pro in, in, in the distal proximal cap right, nice. um, and the lesion length was approximately 70 millimeters so, so it was a long long occlusion yeah. 
Um, so yeah, we ended up um, eventually uh, using an angiosculp balloon, post dilated with well, pre dilated with that at high atmospheric pressures, and then we uh, stented the whole thing back to the osteo LED. Which which stent did you use? Um, we actually chose an, ex uh, an um, interesting stent, a Cobra stent, which is a bare metal stent. Uh, that was my concern as well. Yeah. I was going for surgery. Exactly. <laughs> so the, there is very little place for bare metal stents, if, if any, uh, in today's world, especially that bare metal stents, the new generation drug, sorry, drug eluting stents are getting better and better. Um, uh, but, you know, after discussing with the, with the referring physician and the surgeons, they favored that, thinking that this patient might be uh, going to surgery sooner than later. Okay. Uh, so we ended up putting uh, four, actually, four cobra stents there, post dilating them. The, the final result was excellent. Right. And then how did you coil through the Lima graft? So yeah, so through the, uh, through the Lima, we passed the wire and we got our coils down. We used a, an Azure Turumo uh, uh, hydro coil, uh, two of them actually, a 3.0 and a 4.0. Um, and we angiographically uh, confirmed that the Lima uh, was shut down afterwards. Okay. And the patient uh, stayed, I'm assuming, in depth, was loaded with depth, uh, Correct. aspirin plavix, and then you kept him for how long? So the plan was to keep him on depth for at least one month, yeah. um, and for the referring physician to repeat his um, CT CCNG, scan yeah. and reassess the lesion. And uh, I, we actually were contacted by the, the referring physician telling us that the uh, tumor had shrunk some on, on repeat imaging with a necrotic uh, base. Um, and so they decided to wait and see rather than take the patient to surgery, hoping that the, the tumor will regress even more in the next few months. Well, that's very interesting. So how did you close the groin? Uh, we ended up using an angio seal device, I think, for yeah. the, the groin. It's eight French, right? Eight French guy? Correct. All right. Well, that's a great case, challenging, a lot of equipment. How much radiation and contrast used, if you remember? Um, well, I, I don't remember the exact of those, but I think we, we uh, it was about a gray, um, and um, or, yeah, and about 300 cc's of yes. contrast right. used. Great, good job. All right, yeah. very interesting Thank case. Thank you. Uh, congrats for being selected for semifinals. Good luck for the presentation. Thank you. Uh, please watch this video and others on CVI YouTube channel. This is Shadi Reyes from Denver, Colorado. Thanks, Dwayne. Thank you.